I'm reading for you a short bus, just in case I didn't get my point across to you in the last. I am the man that has seen affliction by the rod of his wrath. He has led me and brought me into darkness, but not into light. Surely against me he is turned. He turneth his hand against me all the day. My flesh and my skin hath he made old. He has broken my bones. He hath built it against me. He encompassed me with gall and travail. He has set me in the dark places as they that be dead of old. He has hedged me about and I cannot get out. He has made my chain heavy. Also, when I cry and shout, he sheddeth my mouth, my prayer. And also enclose my ways with hewn stone. He has made my paths crooked. He has unto me as a bear lying in wait, as a lion in secret places. That's beautiful. He's a bear on the outside, but he's a lion in secret places. It's beautiful. He had turned aside my ways and pulled me to pieces. He has made me desolate. He has bent his bow and set me as a mark for the arrow. All right, so these are the first two, two groups of worlds. All right. So that is not a real good reading. All right. That is not a good reading at all. All right. So I just wanted to share those first things with you to show you that this is the direction of the human being. And I'm telling you that this is actually the voice of our, uh, our soul. This idea that I'm hedged about and I can't get out. He has made my chain heavy. This is the body. And the body is known to be heavy when you're out of body, people feel that the body's so heavy and uh, thick and so, you know. But when we are talking about the Bible and we're talking about two sides of things, and that's basically what this three is about, is you, it's, it's your, your mind or something. There's, there's two things going on here. And so it says here, it says, uh, he has led me and brought me into the darkness but not into the light. It's like, there's only two places you can go. Surely against me, he's turned. He's turned his hand against me all the day. So the daylight side is gone. It's only about darkness. My flesh and my skin, he makes old. He has broken my bones. So here's your skins and the bones is this part because we don't have mother, broke our bones. Remember mother comes from the bone comes from the from uh, comes from within. It's this idea that God puts Adam to a deep sleep, and He brings this the mother side to life out of His bones. The bones is what connects the the, the blood and the flesh together. All right, so it's about the bones how that works. And it says He built us against me and encompasses me with gall and travail. He has set me in dark places that be of the dead. He's hedged me about. This is her swaddling clothes. Uh, when I cry, he shutteth out my prayer. You, you, there's no communication here. There's nothing. There's no prayer. You're only talking out your mouth. In these conversations where you come out of your mouth, it's an outside thing. Those people that come against me are from the outside. And I love this. He was unto me a bear. As a bear lying in wait, and as a lion in secret spaces. All right, that's beautiful. It's that child when, if you were to lie down in secret places, we send in these stories, we send 
the, a little lion cub, a little child. Well, you know, if you're the lamb of God, then you send out a kid. That's, you know, that's how these things work. But this part of us is shut down. This part right here is shut down 90% of human beings on earth. Just the way it is. It's just, uh, it's, it's for whatever reason it is, we came into the being, came into being. That it is that we were born into this. And it says that a little later in that, that we're born into this. And it talks about how we have to wait. How we need to do all of this, get all this stuff early on in our lives. And this is where we're young. And uh, while we are young, while our minds are stupid, while we're still doing silly things. And yeah, yeah, I will tell you, want me to give you some examples of being stupid minded? All right. How about believing in a virgin birth? All right. And don't take it literally. The, is, the idea is, is that it doesn't happen. Yeah, maybe in some kind of clinical situation, but no. It takes a male and a female energy. And even in these stories, two, you know, God, father and his bitch can't produce a child. Those are two male things. He says you can't do it. That's why it's an abomination because, you know, there's no connection to God. So it's abomination. So, you know, you can't do with the bitch as you do with mother. You can't. You just, that's working with mankind. You cannot be with mankind and think that you're going to get the same thing out of her as you do, or him, or the bitch, as you would with mother. Mother connects us. And that's it. And once we have her, that's it. There's, there's no going back. All right. But uh, that's the idea is that we graduate out of hell and go into heaven. We have to go through hell first. And people just don't understand that that's life. You know, and life is either going to be hell for the human being or if it's going to be great or it's just going to be living. All right? That's history. We'll check you later. I hope you got something out of this.